All right, guys, it is hours before grid life. We are here, what time is it? It's 10.01. It's 10.01, Thursday night. Apparently grid life opens gates at 1 a.m. We're not gonna make that, but maybe 2 a.m. we'll be there. They're expecting like 80,000 people, so. This is that's what we've been here. So, yeah, that's a bullshit. lie. So anyways, this is, this is we'll what see. we got. We got Nixie 30 here. We just replaced the booster on it, because it was fucked. Um, it needs to be relocated because of the swap. So now all this needs to be put back together and the brakes need bled before we leave. So no big deal, Flush right? And, the coin. and this and has been swapped. On. What engine do you have in here? It's an M52 B28. It's not the technical update, so this one's the turd. So Iron block, aluminum head. What car did it come from? Uh, it came from a 328 IS. It was a 96, 97. Race car. Race car. Race car stuff. So this is like twice the horsepower. When it's running, it's twice the horsepower. But you're also super prepped, right? You got a bunch of shit in the trunk? Uh, yeah, I'm prepped to camp. <laughs> um, I don't, I, based on the car, I don't know if I'm pep prepped to drive yet, really. Fair enough. I have it's all my driving fine. gear, but we'll see. That's yet to be determined. We'll, we'll touch back in when we get back to the track and see if the brakes actually work. We're right on. And then Will just got back. He spent the last two days trying to get an alignment on his car, which he just picked it up from. It still drives exactly the same as before, so just a big waste of time. My car is ready to go, except I've never changed the oil on it since I owned it, so I feel like that's a good idea. And, ooh, I need to screw in the carbon fiber thing, which never screwed in from the last video. It was still just pushed in there. And, uh, yeah, and mine should be ready to go. Will said his dip's puking. This car a lot. has a bunch of lifter tick and everything else, and it's falling apart, so. It's not actually falling apart. It's Does it have lift or take though? Only when it's super cold. He said his car was ready to go yesterday, but yeah, here he is still working on hey, it. But then I found a pool of oil. So didn't, oh. yeah, yesterday you were like, I'm gonna be able to do that no problem tonight because yeah. my car's done. I just, I just have to top the dip off. No big deal. All right. BD, bro. So wish us luck. Chris, what's up? Oh, we're just working on cars. So you have a bit of an update, huh? Yeah, Will has a his intake manifold almost back on. We're Hold gonna on. go to him, but it's back on, bro. It's back on, bro. Yeah. So uh, I was like, hey, I'm gonna change my oil, but then we got under here and uh, we noticed uh, his arm a little bent. So um, we're gonna replace the control arm real quick right before we leave. So yeah, we kind of noticed it. The wheel, you know. She's a. She's real close she's to the body. Tight there in the back, and come to the other side. And like, way more room there. So we're gonna fix that real quick too. Some last minute prep. Yeah. Let's go see how Will's doing. Okay. What's going on? Yeah. Today we are putting on the intake manifold, and we are hooking up the vacuum, and we are bleeding the brakes, and this is a swapped car. Yeah. It rises. Okay, so it's like 12:30 now. 12:30 and Chris is just getting started on the uh, putting screws in my in my car. So the toe with the uh, new control arm is super bad. Apparently it was aligned with the bent control arm, so we need to fix that. And and I'm tired, and I'm trying to lift the car up with three arms, and they're telling me it's a bad idea. It is a super bad idea. Dude, stop. Just stop right now. You're gonna keep doing it. Just put okay. it down. Okay. Do it. Is the wheel off the ground? Yes. Yeah, no. No. It's drooped. No. It's, it's touching. Don't. But if we can lift it up now, I can get something under the wheel. I need something it's to put exciting. under the wheel. I feel like you're just like flexing the shit out of your tabs and just like, what is this, a 4x4? Four four? Yes. You're like, ah, oh, Jeep wipe. Yeah, he's flexing Jeep out here. Jeep wipe into the car M3. Yes. Mm, good. Okay. Got a rotor underneath it. Let's see what's going on now. Yeah, sure, you can get an arm under there now. So quick update, it's 12.40. Chris is adjusting toe as planned. And then we have Will at 12.40. I, I don't know. He's an absolute madman. Why are you washing your car? I don't want to. It's gonna rain all night. And then over here, Nick is Adding Mad, some added water wetter. Uh, water wetter. I'm really bad at, at volume, and so I'd have uh, Hamish, the master of mathematical volumes, help me determine how much water wetter to distilled water is needed. Uh, 
pro tip, if you're going to the racetrack, drain the coolant out of your car. Put distilled water in it. Get water wetter, the red stuff. It'll keep your car much, much cooler than coolant. Um, and the purpose of water wetter is actually very much like having soap bubbles in your car, or soap in general. Uh, from what I understand, I could be getting this completely wrong. And you could probably tell me in the comments that I'm a fucking idiot. But my understanding is that Water wetter adds basically a silicate or a slickness to the inside of the all of the cooling chambers that allows the water bubbles to dissipate off of the walls. Because if the water bubbles hold on to the walls, then they heat up and it actually causes your car to overheat faster. So distilled water, water wetter, that's the way to go. Tiny bit of coolant. What's going on? I'm trying to do an alignment. The tie rod won't spin. Chris, there's another option. I'm flaming. Right. Oh, really, there's another option. No, stop. No, I'm serious. Put that one straight, tow that one out. Do it the other way. If this one's seized, adjust that one. But then it's a progressive steering rack. It's gonna be fucking weird. Dude, you're talking about this right here. Make that one straight, tow that one out. I want the rack to be centered. All right, I'm done here. You realize how little it is. Like, 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 I want it to be centered. That's a backup plan. I'm trying to do it right, dog. It's 1 a.m. now. You tried to put gear oil mixed with ATF in your transmission less than 12 hours ago. Some transmissions run on gear oil. Some BMW transmissions run on gear oil. There are gears in transmissions. I just saw a Turn your steering wheel 1 17th of a turn to the left and tow that one out. You're wasting my gas. That's for soldering. Will, it's 2.05, what's the update? Update is, Chris's car has an alignment. My car also has an alignment. They drain all the batteries and uh, Nick's pump. car runs and does things. It has brakes too. I think. Um, my car's clean and shiny. It's got that going for it. Oh, you can't even see it, but. It's back there. It's shiny. I mean, we're just going, dude. I don't even have a tent. If I, Neither. Yeah, I'm just probably gonna sleep in the car, I think. I was planning on sleeping in the wagon, but Chris <clears throat> says that's his zone. I'm gonna sleep under the beauty of Mother Nature. Oh, uh, it's so, gonna be like, so rad. But I did find a moving blanket, so I'm gonna pretend to be a homeless person and that's gonna be my sleeping pad. Sick. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm kind of relying on the power of substances to put me to sleep. Chris is working on his sound system. I'm installing my stereo. Which is a sound box ratchet straps to where the passenger seat would be in his street car. The only passenger he needs in his ride is Jesus, and it's gonna be coming right out the stereo. In a serious way. Yeah. Cool, so we're just gonna finish up here and then hey, get Chris, on the road. While you're racing, you should play Jesus Take the Wheel. Okay, so the convoy's about ready. We got everything right, so we lined got, up. We got Bumblebee right here. We got old Barney here. We got Forrest Gump right there. Now we're trying to figure out what the hell Nick's car is gonna be called. I don't know, it's pretty folded. So what do you call something that's like half working, half not, but confident enough to be on a racetrack? Helen Keller. Yes, <laughs> I'm Helen Keller. Helen Keller. <laughs> Deaf, dumb, and blind, huh? Yeah, right. I'm just, I'm just gonna fucking send it, bro. <laughs> you really wanna be Helen Keller? So we got our radios. <laughs> Looks like I just screwed this setting up, so I gotta fix that, but. Thanks, Hamish. Uh, radio check. Oh, you did fuck it up. I yeah, probably so I gotta fix this too. now. But yeah, we're about to hit the road. Next stop, Grid Life, PPIR, huh? Yeah, dog. Let's do it. We'll see you there. So we were driving back, or I guess down to Grid Life. Did anybody bring extra lug nuts? We lost nope. a stop. I thought about bringing them for mine. So, you can see right there. No stud. I don't know man, it looks like a huge gap there. Okay, so we got the wagon to a gas station. Filling it up because the sending unit is sketch. But, in the light, you can see a stud definitely backed out. And uh, we re-tightened everything, went around all the wheels and re-tightened it. But Chris had a running bet with Will about who would use the least amount of gas on the way here. He won't fill up his car. I forfeit. Oh, it's you're fine. going over for sure. I need to shave pounds, dude. You're going over. Oh, yeah. 
I got, I easily got oh, this guy smiling. See, now you have to hold it, now you have to do this. It's 4.10 a.m. too. There you go. You used 3.3. Man. 3.3 and I had 2.8, so I blew your ass away. Will, you should fill up, man. Don't want to. 3.3. I think I'm going to... 3 gallons, man. I'm going to take this. the tunnel. So we just got here, and the gate is quite closed. So we're going to try another entrance, and then there's a number over there for us to call, but we didn't drive down here at like 4.30 a.m. to not go in, so let's try the other spot? Yeah. Okay. We're like we're the first people here. Yeah, we're at spot number two, and there's no one here. Were we a little too overprepared? No nuts! <laughs> that's a huge foul, though. And no way it starts at 1 p.m. That's like a waste of a day. Yeah. Yeah. Friday at 1 a.m. Like, should we just go park in front of the front gate? Where, where are we supposed this to be? This is the registration. This is where we check in. Did like, you type that number in? No, I didn't. We, we should, should go back so what's and grab say? the numbers. Does it say 1 p.m.? But they're like ready for a crowd. Like, there's a ton of fucking computers set up. Like, I mean, the lights are on. Yeah. Like, why would the lights be on if they're not ready for? Check it. Why would you run the lights all night? You said 1 a.m. But look at us posted up here, dude. This is a photo op. So we made it. We made it. It's super low light, but we've got a gorgeous kind of sunset to look forward to. What, how did we uh, get in here? So we called the security dudes and they, uh, <laughs> they came down and then they checked us all in. So, but apparently it didn't start at 1 a.m. We had to like be here like before midnight to get checked in and then or wait till eight but they just let us in so we don't have to wait in line tomorrow we're just already here and they also made hamish a driver even though we did not sign him up for that so drivers wristband baby <laughs> in the advanced class <laughs> I'm, I'm that good after crashing that car into a wall last time i drove yeah buddy oh yeah so well what happened on the track oh you know the old bmw grenade got me